Crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and it is Technique Tuesday. We have a fantastic card technique for you. We're going to be making a fun fold, a gate fold, but we're going to step it up just a little bit and we're going to make a double gate fold. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get busy. The first thing you need to do is grab your card stock and let's make our base card. Our base card is 11 by five and a half. So you're gonna keep the length of your card stock, but on the short side, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to cut it at five and a half. So let me use this piece of paper. I already have the length of it. Now I just need the width, and that is five and a half. Now we're going to take it and just turn it the long way, and we're going to score on both sides. So we're going to score at one and a fourth. Make sure you go ahead and you dock your cutting blade because you don't want to accidentally cut it. So go ahead and score at one and a fourth and three and three eighths. Now, a real quick way to tell where three eighths is, let me show you that. One, two, three. It's an eighth past the one fourth. That's the way I always think of it, and it really helps me. So let's go ahead and score it at three and three eighths. Now we're just going to flip our paper and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. One and a fourth. And three and three eighths. And now we can put our trimmer aside. So we're gonna grab our bone folder and we are folding into the card. So on this first score line, go ahead and fold to the inside of the card and just give it a good crease. And fold back. This is where the double fold comes in on a gate fold. Go ahead and turn it to the other side, find your score line, and just crease it. Use your bone folder and give it a good crease. So I have picked some beautiful paper from Countryside Inn. Look at this gorgeous paper. I'm loving this. Now we need to go ahead and cut our panels for this area right here. So I'm going to cut the back panel that we need, and that is one and seven eighths. Now I'm going to turn it on its side, and I'm going to cut five and a fourth twice. So there's one, and I'm gonna cut one more. Now I'm going to adhere those to the inside panel and look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna bring out my Kalel. We love this glue, very easy to work with. It doesn't get stopped up, just love it. So I'm gonna make sure that I have the same border all the way around. And that's important because we like it to be consistent across our card, it makes it look prettier. So let's get this one glued down. Just get a little bit of glue there. Just gonna open that up. And look at that so far. A very easy double gate fold. You can decorate it as much as you want or as little as you want. Now, I've decided to go ahead and put a white panel right here. Now, I went ahead and I cut my strips, and those are one by five and a fourth, and I used an embossing folder. And this comes with this whole kit, the countryside kit. 
Now look at this beautiful design. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm just gonna lay this down on the front. And I think embossing a panel is a very easy way to add some interest to your card. You could just lay a panel down, but you will see that it really makes this front mechanism pop. Now look at that. Look how pretty that is. It just adds that extra dimension, the extra touch that you've done to make your card stand out. Now, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and put the inside to our card, and that's just your normal mat. That's five and a fourth by four. You can stamp something in there if you want, but we're gonna leave it all so that we can write a long message. So there we have it. Now all we have left to do is create our belly band and then our beautiful little sentiment on the front. So what we did is we cut an 11 by one strip of paper and I'm gonna show you a little trick here. Because I talked about embossing, right, and how pretty it, it makes your card and it really just adds some touch, I just embossed the middle part of this strip and it's almost perfectly positioned. So what I did is I just laid this right in my embossing folder and this way you don't have to add another mat on top. You just emboss the belly band. So I laid it right in the center and I put the strip that was extra to the back and I ran it through my machine. And now I have it exactly where I need it to be. Now I will say that this is a little big, but it's almost perfect. So let's go ahead and get that laid down and just put it exactly like we need it. Let's go ahead and give us another crease right there. We're just gonna crease an additional little bitty spot and I'm going to glue this down. Now go ahead and use your bone folder on either side. And I'm gonna use a tape runner for this so that it really sticks quickly. So let's just bring this in. I'm gonna take it off and I'm just going to put some tape right there. Now I'm going to make sure that it's lined up perfectly. You wanna make sure that everything is straight. Okay, and there we have it. Let's just go ahead and slip this on. Now, sometimes you might have to bend this just a little bit, your card, to get it in your belly band. That's okay. Just means that it's really gonna hold it really well. Now look at that. So now we need to design the front of our card. So we're just gonna bring in a piece of scratch paper just an extra piece that we have laying around. And we are using circle sayings. This has some fantastic images. We're going to use this circle that says celebrate on it. I'm gonna bring in my Knight of Navy, tap, 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 and just stamp. Look at that, so pretty. And now I want to go ahead and stamp the cupcake, because I'm gonna raise it. So let's just go ahead and stamp that. Move that to the side and bring in my blends. Now I'm using Melon Mambo, Boho Blue, and Blueberry Bushel. Love these colors. So let's go ahead and just color the cupcake. I'm gonna use my brush nib because it gives really quick coverage. Just turn it on its side.
and I'm going to bring in that blueberry bushel because I want to add just a little more definition. So we're just gonna hit those lines just a little bit with some color, just to give it some more definition. And then we're gonna come in with our melon mambo and we are going to color our cupcake, once again, using the brush nib. Okay, I'm going to use my stitched dies to cut out this little celebrate image, and then I'm going to fussy cut our cupcake. I also am going to use Melon Mambo and a larger stitch die to cut out another circle. Okay, so I have those cut out. I'm going to raise my cute little cupcake on a dimensional. Just going to set that right in the center. And I'm going to add this to the front on some more dimensionals because I want it to be uh, raised up as well. So I'm just using the ends of my sheet of dimensionals. That's another great tip. Don't throw those away because you can use those right on any image to give it that lift that you want. So let's just take off the backing and let's add it right to the center of our circle. And look at that. All we need to do now is put that right on the center. Now there are several ways you can do that. I don't want it raised, and it's kind of hard to decide where to put the glue because you have to make sure that it just ends up on the belly band. So I would recommend, you can see that this goes a little bit past this. I would recommend that you put your glue right here on the belly band and that way you can be sure that it's going to stick. Now you can use wet adhesive or you can use a tape runner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a tape runner. Just get that, just like that. Now this does grab very quickly, so make sure that you have it exactly where you want it before you put it down. And that's where I want it, and look at that. Oh my goodness, such a quick, easy double gatefold. You open it up, and there you have plenty of room to write. Love this style card. Now, let's move on to our next card that we're going to make. Now, for this card, we are using Cottage Wreaths. And you might look at this and think, oh, this needs to be a Christmas or a fall. Well, it really depends on your DSP and the colors that you choose. We're making ours a summer wreath. So here we go. Now remember you need to cut your base card and that's gonna be 11 by five and a half. We scored it at one and a fourth and three and three eighths on both sides. You fold it in and you have your base card. Now we're going to go ahead and just put down the inside card. And like I said, you can take a moment and you can stamp some more images in here, or you can just write a message or a poem <laughs> to the recipient, to your family and friends. You have plenty of room. Now, the next thing that we need to do is cut our strips. Now, remember I said these strips are five and a fourth by one and seven eighths, and we cut two of them. So let's go ahead and lay those down. making sure that you have the same border all the way around. See how we have the same border? That's important. And there we have it. We did the same thing to this card. We used that beautiful embossing folder and we just simply embossed some white strips just to make it pop. So let's go ahead and lay that down. Now 
Now I went ahead and cut out my belly band and this one I'm just gonna leave smooth and flat on the front so we don't have to worry about it. And this was 11 by one, so we're just going to go ahead and lay this right in the center. Get this lined up using our grid paper just so that we know it's straight. We also wanna make sure our card is straight and we'll just move these right to the back. Now, I'm gonna bring in my bone folder. I'm gonna give that a good crease. I'm gonna bring in my tape runner and just add some tape. Making sure that everything lines up. And now we just need to decorate it. So I'm going to use copper clay Granny Apple Green and Berry Burst for my ink pads. And they're so interesting. This design has the leaves as the background, and then you come back in with the branches. Such a cute design. So for the leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp in Granny Apple. And then I'm going to bring in my copper clay and I'm just going to put my branches over that. So just get it lined up. And look at that. So pretty. And now you can decorate this however you want. I went ahead and cut out one that we had stamped. We also stamped this sentiment, wishing you everything wonderful. And I have a bow that comes with the kit. Now look how adorable that is. So cute. So now all we need to do is get this lined up. We also have a circle to put right here because we don't want to see this panel, right? So we needed to go ahead and just put it on a circle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up on dimensionals. And I'm gonna take the back off. Just going to lay this down. Now I'm gonna put this right there on dimensionals and I need it to go right over this wreath right here. So I'm gonna put the dimensionals on the wreath. I'm gonna make sure I have this turned just the way I want it, right here. And notice how I put that right in the center because I want it to go over onto the belly band. So let's go ahead and just lay this down. Now once again, we know we need to keep our glue right here or our tape runner, but this time I'm gonna use glue. Just going to line this up and hold it there. And now I can add this cute little bow. Oh, it just adds to this image and makes it adorable. So I'm going to just bend this up just a little bit, make it 3D, and just put a little bit of glue right there, just a tiny bit. Just right there. And look at this card. This double gatefold is so easy to make. You have some panels, you have a circle, you stamp your wreath and you are done. What do you think about the cards that we made today? We hope that you take a moment and leave us a comment. Maudie and I love reading your comments. Now, remember I told you I have two more that we stepped it up just a little bit. If you're uh, adventuresome and you're like, I think I can do more, let me show you these cards. 
Here is a card using our earthen texture. Look at this. We added these pots. We did some cut out of DSP to cover the pot. We also did this and embossed the top of the pot. We used some cord for the top of this one. We added a lot of images on this belly band. Then you open it up and we stamped a message on the inside. This is a stepped up version, but we couldn't make one of these double gate folds without using our Hello Daisy stamp set because it is truly one of our favorites. Now look at that gorgeous image on the front. You made my day. So beautiful, so summery. The colors are so bright, just love this. And then we stamped on the inside. So these, the last two that I showed you are stepped up just a little bit. So if you're adventuresome and you wanna step up your card making, you can use these as a design for your double gatefold. If you wanna keep it easy, simple, and quick because you need a quick card, use the design of our first two cards. Well, I wanna thank you so much for joining us here on Technique Tuesday. We hope you were inspired. And if you were, we sure would love a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. We'll go out, make it a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.